The next tree is very common. It's this white one Haley's next to. This is the calorie pear, also known as the Bradford pear. It's a tree that we love and we hate. We love to hate it, we hate to love it. Even if you're someone who's new to identifying trees, this is a great one to start with because calorie pears and Bradford pears are one of the very first big, white, flowery trees of spring, and they are everywhere. People like to line roads with them in neighborhoods. They have these big white crowns sometimes. Sometimes they're straight up like this. They're along roadsides because the wild varieties, like all of its relatives, apples, plums, pears, these have five petals. And if you smell them, oh, terrible. <laughs> It's known for its very terrible smell. It smells fishy. Some people say it smells like semen. And what's it going to attract with that is flies. It's actually pollinated by flies instead of bees. Good to know. The history of this tree is pretty interesting. It was actually brought from Vietnam and China over in the 1960s and was a tree that was actually promoted by Lady Bird Johnson. She said this was a near perfect tree. It grows quickly. It has big blossoms, and she wanted people to plant it everywhere. She planted them in Washington, D.C. There's actually a variety called Washington because of that. Thing is, this tree is fast growing. It does have great flowers, but there are some drawbacks. You'll notice right away that there are so many branches in this tree that are going vertically. And that's really bad for the tree because these narrow crotches kind of break off the branches. And it grows quickly, but it means it's actually not that long lived. Another issue with this tree is that it was supposed to be an ornamental tree that was sterile and not supposed to spread all around, but it hybridized because there are so many different cultivars. And when you hybridize among the other cultivars, you have a viable seed. Those seeds get spread by birds who send them far and wide and they crop up, which you think might be beautiful, but it's actually crowding out other native species, which is why these trees are now on a list. The agricultural status of these trees is changing because of their sort of invasive nature. In three years, they're gonna be phased out so you can't buy them. And lots of people are suggesting that if you see them, you should be getting them off of your property. There are lots of great resources that can help you if you wanna do that. This is that love-hate part thing because you fall in love with something because it's beautiful and then you find out, oh no, it's crowding out native species. Love to hate it, hate to love it, love it for the birds. What are you gonna do?